I'm Kim Stetson, and I guess I'll wait a little moment. Hmm. I guess I'll start. Um, so my name is Kim Stetson, and I'm a professional organizer. And I'm here to talk to you today about my experience with uh, online marketing from a small business perspective and why I believe that it's only half the effort. So who am I? I'm a pro professional organizer, but I have a background in interactive project management. I work with people to organize their offices, help them streamline their papers and uh, set up workflow systems. And so when I got started in my business, I was really comfortable with uh, online marketing, sitting behind a computer, Facebook, Twitter, all of that. So I got a great website and I kind of sat back and waited for the clients to come to me. But what really happened was that's not where my clients were coming from. I realized that uh, digital marketing was actually really just a support tool. So what was I missing? <laughs> it turns out that uh, the most effective client generating marketing technique for me has been networking, actually meeting people face to face and getting to know them and find out what they need and how I can help them. And through uh, networking, I've been able to develop my 30-second commercial, which has really helped me say concisely exactly what I do, who I help, and figure out if we can work together very quickly. Uh, the cool thing about uh, networking is that once you meet somebody, then they can go online, and they can actually get to know you better. So you actually develop your connections, um, and they, may, they become more meaningful. So here are the steps I suggest you take if you're a small business owner. First, you create your online presence. Then you get out and you meet as many people as you can. Then you follow up with those people, which is very key. And then you maintain your online presence. So creating your online presence. I started out with the basics. I got a great website. <clears throat> I uh, signed up for Twitter, got a Facebook page, LinkedIn profile, all of that. There's a lot. I'm sure you're learning a ton today. <laughs> Uh, so networking, the purpose of networking is to meet as many people as possible and really form connections with them so that they think of you as a trusted resource and pass your name along. So there are formal networking groups uh, such as BNI and LATIP and you can meet with people weekly so you really form strong connections. Another great way to find out about local networking groups is through meetup.com and also just ask the people that you meet what else they go to. Follow-up is really key, and I actually think that my follow-up is what has actually won me a lot of new business. Um, the people that I really connect with, I generally give them a call within one or two days. Um, for other people, I'll email, and then with all the rest, I will connect online. So I'll go to their websites, I'll read their blogs, respond to them, follow them on Twitter, uh, connect on LinkedIn, and start a conversation to develop the connection. So maintaining your online presence is really important because it helps build your credibility and shows that your business is active and thriving and that you're engaged. So you need to get, out, get online and learn and participate as much as you can. So for me, the, a big challenge has been balancing my time between online marketing and networking. Uh, I'm more comfortable behind the computer <laughs> online, so that's where my natural tendency is. So I have to schedule time for me. And I use my calendar as a way to make sure I uh, get out and network with people and balance my time. I list out all the activities and actually block out time on my calendar each week so that I can um, track what I'm, how I'm spending my time. And uh, it allows me just to um, make sure that I'm hitting all the touch points. Hmm. So my example, so I try to attend uh, one or two networking events per week and then I generally spend about three hours following up with the people that I've met. Um, and then I like to schedule about six hours out of my week for um, a research and learning and um, actually f uh, just getting out there online as much as possible. And I balance that all with actually working with my clients. So uh, digital marketing is really only half the effort. And if you're a small business, balancing your time between networking and online marketing is really crucial to your success. So meeting people face-to-face -face is what gives your online presence purpose. Thank you. <laughs>